when will, when will we stop uh, measuring knowledge and measure learning? The meta learning, I think, is um, is enormously important, and um, I, this is very difficult because uh, you know people have tried to, in America, particularly, have tried to map out 21st century skills, and they. I, I think for me, it's it, it's complicated. I think what technology has allowed us to do is is to do things at the margin that we could never do before. So. For example, with drilling oil, you know, we can we can drill in deeper oil, deeper oceans than before. With um, with air flight, we have more people in the air than before. With the banking system, we can build more complex interrelationships. And of course, because we're an ambitious breed, and we're at the margin, things go wrong. And and so we've had a financial collapse, and we had. A lot of planes that could not fly because of the volcanic ash cloud, and um, we had oil leaking up from a mile down. We knew how to drill it, but we didn't know how to cap it. So, above all else, we seem to be finding ourselves in in a century which is full of surprises, indeed, which continues to astonish us. And I think the most important meta skill is the ability to cope with surprise, and I think that's that's the one, you know. And, People talk about you know, collaboration and all the C words and communication. Actually, it's the ability to cope with the unexpected that's the most important thing. And because the irony here is that the curriculum is built around the expected. You know, as a, in an exam room, you turn over the exam paper, hoping there will be no surprises. And your teacher stands in the corridor thinking, I hope I've prepared them for everything. But well, that's not the world we're in. So I think there's a huge mismatch between the the, the world of learning the expected and, and applying it to the unexpected. And I think that's that's now of course the only way you move towards being able to cope with the unexpected is that better learn reflections, thinking about your own learning and, and thinking how could this be better. And uh, sadly, so much of that is absent in school learning. You, I mean, Sweden, you have the same as we have. You have entrepreneurs who will say, uh, you know, I left school early because it didn't seem to be preparing me for me. Richard Branson famously was thrown out of school three times and then left at 16 and, and, and argues publicly in this country that schooling over educates people. Um, uh, um, Yon Zhao in, uh, in Michigan University has a lovely analysis of the American education system. He thinks. He thinks it, its impact, he thinks the reason why America is able to invent Facebook and Google and all those other things is because their education system is so bad it has almost no impact on children at all. It's an interesting, it's an interesting perspective. So, um, you know, what are those meta level reflections? I think learning about learning and, and keep being capable of coping with astonishment, I think, are the two big things. And I haven't seen anywhere in the world, I haven't seen anybody write a curriculum that says, Basically, we get to astonish our children every day and see how they cope. And you and you won't cope without deep understanding. I mean, you won't you won't cope with a scientific problem without a deep understanding of science. I mean, make no mistake, you need to know stuff, but that's not enough. You've got to be able to apply it in an unexpected way. And that's the bit that's missing.